Welcome back to the channel everyone for another Helldivers 2 video and today we have finally done it a completely all level 1 solo Helldive as far as everything goes so I did level 1 for all the stratagems default loadout such as like the default penetrator the default grenades as well as the semi-auto pistol peacemaker now this mission was super difficult to actually get down this methodology so this one, we're actually going to be doing something called patience. By patience, I'm talking about we are going to actually be manipulating the spawns like we've always done in my videos when it comes to the terminate bugs, as well as really planning out as to where we are going and where we have been, considering the bugs utilize their sense of smell. And you will definitely see that today. And so right off the bat, we are going to call in the sentry gun to essentially lure a lot of the bugs our way, at least on this side. And so by doing that, when we start really manipulating and turn all of these bugs into a gigantic whirlpool, you will see how these all come into play throughout this session. So as we get this together, we are being very aggressive at the outset because, like I said, one, time is ticking. You need a pretty good bit amount of time if you want to be able to do the very end of this in a very, I guess, organized and attainable manner. So right here, as you see, we do have a bunch of bug breaches, so we are going to essentially try to really thin some of these out as well as keep them spawning and chasing us outside of this objective area. So, as you see here, we're just really trying to also stay control over the hunters because the hunters pretty much can two, three, four shot you if you're in a really tight horde of them. Hell, even some of them might even one shot you and make you bleed to death. So, never really have a priority on just getting outside of the objective area. That way, when we do go in, they will still be trying to catch up to us and our path. But on this path, we're actually going to be taking a little bit wider of a route reason also is because since we are using a recon outfit on light armor we are more susceptible to being out of their radar so whenever we are out of their radar the bugs then basically trigger their sense of smell and really follow based on where we have been so if they don't know where we're at they will just follow basically our tracks and so that's what we're going to do we're pr probably just going to basically leave what we can call breadcrumbs all around the outside of the objective and then be able to execute so as you see here they're still on the outside, minus the Bile Titan, and then we're just going to finish up this objective. This one, pretty much doing the first one. The first one is the toughest because that is what essentially sets the mood and the tone for the rest of the game. Really don't want to jinx myself right now, but that's essentially what we're trying to do. And this one is really kind of tough to do on this part of the objective where we have to set the settings on the left side and the right side to 100%. So we really want to make sure we have at least enough time between from the time the bugs hit us to the time we're able to essentially try to calculate all of the settings on the signal. And one thing I dislike the most, if anything, about this planet is not just the maze of cliffs, but honestly how dark it is because you can't really change up the brightness of everything on the planet unless you actually have like a change in weather. So fingers crossed we do have a better change in weather because this is pretty kind of hard to see. Almost trying to Stevie Wonder all of this. So now we're about to throw our sentry gun, our um, machine gun sentry, and that's basically going to act as a monkey bomb for us or play zombies too much, but as a distraction, since that is pretty much our only hope to get rid of this Bile Titan without kind of waiting around for our, basically, orbital strike. So that's what we're going to use. Since the sentry gun has its attention, now we are going to do this calculation. So this one's easy to get caught up on, especially when you're trying to calculate, or if you just have like a brain fart, and you're just sitting here for like five minutes just trying to think, wait, right, left, other right, other left? But... This one already knocked out, not too bad of a hassle. So now let's move on to the next one. As you see on our radar, all, how all of them are in a line because they have been following the scent of our circle. Oh shit, hold up. Well, most of them. <laughs> You're still gonna have a, maybe a stray or two of these hunters, but majority of the time, it's just trying to keep them all in an organized line, basically behind your scent. So we can get around this charger. Oh my god, I can barely see on this. This is actually crazy dark. So now let's just trek on to the next objective. Oh. 
And then now we're approaching the next set of bugs. See these right here, these scavengers pretty much are the first line of defense. So they're really easy pushovers. So we can avoid setting them off immediately. That's clutch, but right now we're waiting on this resupply. So whenever we do our circles, we will still be able to resupply on stems if and whenever we do get hit by hunters and or stalkers. So we're pretty much setting up for the next part. See, we have our sentry gun almost ready to go. So right now we're about to throw it on the opposite direction and draw some of the bugs on that side toward it. So you see here, we're chunking it now out and then making our way around to the side. Because the rest of the bugs that are triggered and they do not see you, they will follow your scent and or the rest of the bugs. Kind of like a line of ants in a way. So now we're getting close. Sentry gun's going to work, and now we should be able to come up here and go ahead and throw down this SD, or SSD, and then activate this first part of this objective. Let's just run around this side. Oh my god, yep, here's the stalkers. So we, we're probably going to take a few deaths right here, not going to lie. Alright, this may or may not kill us. Alright, clutch. Let's go ahead and activate this part. Right, right up, down, up. Alright, next part. Alright, now we just have to insert it into the hatch. So this can't be too crazy because it's literally right here. And the rest of them are still trying to catch up. Fuck, now we have a breach. Alright, so we're going to try to speed through this. Now this one's going to be the tough one because we have two breaches behind us as well as the rest of these bad boys. So let's go ahead, get rid of these guys. Oh, damn, now we have a bio spear or bio titan. Let's go ahead and dive off of this, and we have, I think, two stalkers behind us, so, yep, we're going to take a couple deaths. Hopefully not, but I have a feeling we are. Let's run around here, let's grab this resupply. Alright, hopefully these stalkers do not catch up to us. <laughs> Alright, Bile Titan, so yeah, we're going to basically continue the rest of this circle and just wind our way around. And then as we're doing so, trying to thin some of them out. So the really cool thing is the eagle strike. That's honestly great if you know how to line it up. So as soon as you throw it the direction you want, it's actually perpendicular to where you are. So it's really nice if you just want to perfectly line up a circle. Let's get rid of some of these hunters now. All right. So let's go around to the side. We should be able to go ahead and finish the rest of this signal. Alright, so let's run up here. Let's go ahead and juke out this charger. Alright, please don't be complicated. Alright, let's go up. Over to the right. Down. Snap. Okay, we gotta jump off again. Go ahead and step back up. And try to drag them farther out because they were, some of them were able to turn halfway around. So we're trying to do a little bit larger of a circle now. Now that our sentry gun is almost done, we're about to throw it out and just have the, it kind of take some of the brute of this distraction. Oh my god, come on, jump. Dive, 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 dive. Yeah, we might take an L right here. I've got a feeling on it. We have one more stem left. And we are just kind of stuck with these hunters. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. Let's come back up. Yeah, we got what, two stalkers right there. Alright, as many deaths as it takes, we're going to get this part done so we can just get out of here. Alright, yeah, it is it is just too damn crazy right now to try to do that. So we just have to really just lead them away. If we can ever just get out of here. Alright, let's throw in our sentry. So that will distract the Bile Titan for a little bit as well as take some of the smaller ones out, some of the smaller targets. Just want to run around to the side. Alright, let's juke. juke. So we can run past this. Okay. And bottom view that one. Alright, it's orbital strike, so that should get some of the ones that are really close behind us. go. Alright, so another resupply because we dev could use some right now. 
Yeah, I see what two stalkers back there. Yeah, so we pretty much got to get in and out of here real quick because we are starting to get kind of a little stressed out. Yep, there it is. Yep. I'm telling you, you just cannot get away from these stalkers. Alright, let's just come back here. See so if we can activate this objective now. Alright, let's line it up. Come on, other way, other way. Yes. Oof. Alright. We are, whatever it takes, we are going to land right back here. I am just that determined right now just to get out of this place because we don't get out now we're probably not going to do the rest of this mission all right yeah we're getting the hell out of dodge Let's see how far all right at least we're going towards some sunlight because jesus oh my god see you just can't you just can't get away from these things <laughs> So we just literally have to just keep aiming our help pod the opposite direction. Alright. Okay. Now for the long trek. Alright, so we're officially here at the airport. I just call it an airport just because it reminds me of the airport. I guess with the air traffic control thing. But we're throwing out our sentry gun to the right side. So that should draw some of the attention. If not, maybe some of the scavengers on this side. Not really sure how sensitive they are to sound as well as the rest of the crew, but currently now just waiting on some of them to just run that way. But as you see here, some of them aren't, so we're just gonna knock these out. Alright, so those pip squeaks are done. Now we're going to run around the backside. And before we get started, we're going to go ahead and call in a resupply because whenever we do our circuits, it will be nice to run into some of these because you know dang well, in case we do come into some stalkers or we do get to call into some hunters, we'll definitely need some of that as well as some ammo. So waiting for this to come in and also really watching the radar to see where their movement actually is. So now we're running up to the side. If I'm not mistaken, the terminal should be... All right, that's what I thought. It's up there. All right, so the doors are going to be on the opposite end. So this one's going to be kind of tricky. But right now we're just going to go ahead and start clearing that out. So whenever we do make our circuit around, it will be empty. You see all those hunters right there to the side. Let's just go ahead and fry some of those down. All right, so we're going to essentially run to this back end and really start pulling them out. So those are out. Yeah, here's all of them. Here's the bad boys. And we're kind of cornered, so we're definitely going to have to flush this thing out to the side. All right, come on, Bob, weave. Come dive. We might take an L right here. Stem up. Whenever we get them off of us. All right, that's clutch. That at least got rid of three of them. Go ahead and flush up to this side. And then we're essentially going to run around here. Kind of wait for our stamina to come up. As you see on our radar how they are starting to come into a line on the side. But we do have a few still stuck at the terminal. So sooner or later we are going to essentially have to flush them out. But right now we're just trying to pull in the majority of them out and we'll just get the strays later. So there's our first distraction. All right, now we're going to go in for the kill. Say hello to the Let's see. Let's get that there. I should knock that. Mm, that might knock him out. We'll see. Yes, well that should at least get his attention. So we're gonna weave around that one, around that one. Oh shit, okay, lower stamina, but we might be able to walk the rest of the way. 
Alright, so it's on. Let's go ahead, see if we can do the, at least the first step. Yep, let's get out of here. Alright. So first part, we just need two more sessions left. So see on the map how they're all starting now to come where I was by the terminal. So now we're just going to essentially drag all of them out again. Let's go ahead and pop those bad boys away. Alright, we're still trying to filter all of them out. So as you see here, the chargers have caught up to us, but the others haven't. So right now we're still in the process of actually drawing them out. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and throw our sentry gun. So now that we have them finally rounded up in the line, that should get their distraction, especially with the Bile Titan. So now we should be almost ready to head in and start calling the rest of these bad boys in. So the rest of them that are by this entrance, the strays, we're just gonna airstrike this, and then we'll be able to go in and go basically bullets blazing. All right, so let's go up to the side, go around that hunter, go up here, go around these, go around that one, bob and weave. And now let's just go ahead and start this. All right, E4. All right, so that one's done. Now we're going to loop around one more time. All right, we've done our looping and dooping and duping, whatever you want to call it. And so now we're finally able to start this by opening this shuttle door. So that's going to run back up through here. See, our sentry is now ready. Let's go ahead and release the hound. All right, so now this is where the fun part begins. This is where we're really basically going to do exactly what we did, except now we're going to have to intermittently go in the middle and open each door. So we're going to try to land by the very bottom end door, but there's are, there are a few bugs there. We are just going to go ahead and hit the resupply. So now that we're in, let's see, let's look around. Oh God, I can barely see out here. Yeah, so we're just going to make a loop around to our resupply, because having four stems is much better than having two. Let's go ahead and dodge that charger. Alright, even though we don't have any reinforcements, this won't be a problem, because what we're about to do is pretty much going to weed all of them away all right so we have everything together let's go ahead and call in our sentry gun and then now once that distraction is there we're going to loop around the other side like we have been just to build up our scent so as you see here where all of them are going they're either going toward the sentry and or going to where we were doing our trail as well but now we're just going to try to use our Eagle Strike and then get rid of some of those that are in the line and then get rid of these little spare ones on the side. So we do have a bunch of hunters on us. I shit, 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 shit. I, I think we actually are kind of caught up. This might be an L. We have what, 20 seconds left? Oh my God, oh my God. Come on, dive, 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 dive. When in doubt, just keep diving and stimming. Okay, okay. We just have 12 seconds to survive, and then we can get a reinforcement. Oh my god. Come on. We can do this. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Three, two, one. And, oh, okay. We made it. All right, we can take this L. Even now, however, this has worked out for us because they are way the hell on the other side. So we're going to land in front of this door now, and then go straight for these buttons. So... Here, we have a Bile Titan to the left. We're just going to disregard him because we're going to be going the opposite direction anyway. And so now I see we have 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and open this first one. Let's see, now we're going to go back here. Try to avoid the rest of these on the side. Let's go ahead and call our resupply as well because we have no more reinforcements left. All right. Let's see. Oh, I have to go around the fence. All right. Let's see, do they see us? Mm, I might just try to go for this anyway. Right, let's get rid of this charger first. Let's see, three, two, okay. So that got his tail. 
All right, let's open that one up. Fingers crossed some of these get through, but notice there's none that are over here, basically because we rounded them all up on the other end of the map. So now that that's open, let's go ahead and go to this next door. And now you see that from the very side, some of them have come starting to come in. Let's just go ahead and open this next one. And then just basically loop around the side here. Not sure how many will make it through, but the more we keep rotating them, the more we keep moving them in a circle, honestly, the more organized and easier it'll be to call them in. It's just getting it all started is just the tough part. So now let's throw in another distraction, AKA our machine gun sentry. And let's rotate around to the outside of this map. I see we have, let's see, one, two, See, they are going to the side because that's where our scent was so now we're going to call this one in and essentially you run around to this side of the map because they're still following us if you see on the red dots on our radar they're still going along that trail because they do not know where we're at they just know where our scent is let's go ahead and supply up as well all right we have what 12 minutes left We've got four done. Yeah, we've got plenty of time. It's just, like I said, it's very time consuming, but it has to be this way, especially because being level one, you don't have any of the really cool and advanced stratagems, guns, rovers, everything else, you name it. So that's why with this, utilizing all of the stuff we have, we're having to take this a little bit slower. Let's go ahead and open this next door up. Really, them? All right, the hell divers. All right, so those guys are going in. So now we're going to basically go right back around this side and continue the rest of this circle. You see on the map, they are on the bottom part of this. So now we're just going to make sure all of them are together. So we have a Bile Titan to our left. He doesn't see us. All right, where's the rest of these? See, yeah, now they're going, see, now they're right there. So we're just going to wind back around this way again. All right, so we've done another part of our circle. So let's go ahead and call in this next door. As you see now, some of them are still trailing behind. Now let's go ahead and hit this and scan the radar again. So as you see, yeah, uh, they're on the other side of the map. They are still following that trail. So, so far, so good. Let's go ahead and make sure Let's see, where's some slackers at? We might be able to hit this door this round. Let's, yeah, we can go straight on in now. We do have a few over here, one or two hunters, but you see they just ran off to the side. So we're going to come back up here and then hit this next button. As you see there, they are still behind us. So we're going to run back this side and then hit this next button. As you see there, they are still following our scent. So after going back and forth for a while and going a bunch of circles, you see all of them here on the left. They are actually following that scent where we just were. So we're basically, we're doing so far so good. I see we have a few strays to our right. So the sentry gun should take care of those guys. Just go ahead and run straight through them. The alarm hasn't sounded off yet and there hasn't been a breach, so we're on the right track as far as our stealth goes. So we're gonna whip around to this side and maybe see if we can get to a door again. See, we're at 12 out of 30, so doing just fine right now. So let's run up these stairs. We might run out of stamina. But as you see to our left, they still don't see us. They're still going after our scent. Why the dollar every time I've said scent to this video, man? Gosh, I could dream. But anyhow, let's just go back around. Let's see, now we're about to whip around and hit the next door. You see there to my right, you can see some of the bugs still following that little trail. So let's go ahead, open up this next door, and then run right back around where we were and see where the rest of these bad boys are. So we see them, we have one or two in the middle, but the rest of them, as you see, are still on the right. All right, so now we're just waiting to see where the rest of the train is, because it's kind of quiet on this side. 
So we have a little under seven minutes and 30 seconds left. So now we're just really just trying to build up again another little circuit. So as you see there, where we just were about five, six seconds ago, they're already trailing along. It's kind of funny to see this, not gonna lie. Just honestly like little tiny trails of ants. That's one thing that is kind of clutch about this skin as far as recon goes, being have like I think 20% um, less of a susceptibility to being found. So now since we went back through that crack, we're gonna go ahead and try to open up this gate again. Let's go ahead and pop that. Then now I'll go around on the backside and try to hit the second button. Not trimmers, but we're doing fine. So we have, or we are finishing now up on our last end of this circle. So now since we have them all trailed away, we are going to hit this top button. So now that's there. We have what, nine left? So now that should be like, what, three, six, about three more doors at best, you should say. So now we're gonna run around and then clap this next button, if there isn't any bugs, that's what I thought. So go ahead and clap that one. Let's see, and you see there, they still are on the other side of this objective. Mostly because they're still trying to keep up with our scent that we went in circles with. Pretty clutch, not going to lie. As you see them slowly making their way on their right side, that's pretty much where we were about five to six seconds ago. See them still trailing in. We just need, what, one more button. So just gonna sit here and make sure... Yeah, they're slowly catching up now. So let's go ahead and run one last lap around the side. All right, coming up on our last lap. And so now we're about to hit the very last button and this should put the nail in the coffin for this mission. Let's go ahead, open this one up. And just to be safe, we might go ahead and hit the next one. Just depends, because I don't see really any bugs around us. Because like I said, they're still behind us as far as our trail went with our scent. So let's run around to this side and just draw more of a scent out. Alright, yep, just like that. And pretty much that's really what you need to do on this one if you're going to do a solo, especially using level 1 stratagems. I mean, if you have other stratagems, such as like the laser, or using things like napalm, all of those are pretty clutch, or even using the mortars that have the EMF, those pretty much are the ones that can really set the difference, as well as having a jetpack. Like I did the other video on just using a jetpack with the one you have to evacuate 50 and kind of use the same method as this one, but this one's a little bit more complex, especially with the amount of time we have and the amount of bugs. All right, so after trekking along and basically waiting on some bugs to pass by, we've pretty much had some, I, yep, some of these actually have caught up to us from this last nest, but we might just take a death here anyway. Yeah, throw a grenade. Because this will launch us closer to extraction because we have like five seconds left anyway to use our last reinforcement. Let's go ahead and... Okay. If there's one thing I do dislike about reinforcing, you can't always control your help pod. Like, that one literally had me locked in a straight line. So now, not only are we pretty much almost out of bounds, but we are also... I think high enough to actually take an L for a death, but never know. However, we are going to try to get as close as we can just when the shuttle does come. If we do survive, we will be able to extract because I don't think the bugs will know where we are at, especially being up here. So let's go ahead and jump off this next cliff. All right, we have what, minute 22. So we might just have to pace around here for a little bit. All right, shovel's coming in, so let's, fingers crossed, I mean, I do have the vitality, so, I mean, that is a default one, so maybe it'll save the fall, okay. All right, we, ooh, yeah, after that, 
For as long as the tumble that was, I don't think we're going to make it to extraction. Yeah, we're not going to make it. As much as we want to. Yeah, we're not going to make it. But either way, this is pretty much how to do the whole mission objective solo. This is a pretty clutch way. It honestly took me forever to try to get this mission down, but it wasn't until actually after completing the one where you have to do 50 that I decided to do well. They are following a little bit more of Synth, so let's try to play on that a little bit. And so essentially using that methodology and just doing a ton of laps, that is pretty much the best way to do this if you're using level one. But I also have a solo eradicate with all level one attributes, such as like stratagems and guns coming at you. So be sure to also look out for that one. But it was really fun to do all of these after seeing the results on the polls for things y'all want to see. But yeah, that's pretty much how to do this. By the way, this is a crazy challenge, so if anyone ever you want to try it, just let me know in the comments below. But thank you all for supporting all these videos, and I look forward to seeing all of you in the next one. Welcome back.